If you're interested in tax preparation and enjoy working with people, the Enrolled Agent credential could be a great option to pursue. Enrolled Agents, or EAs, are tax practitioners who, like CPAs, have rights to represent clients before the IRS. Unlike CPAs, there is no formal educational requirement to becoming an EA, which opens it up as a career option for many more people. One really great benefit of becoming an enrolled agent is that the credential is nationally recognized, meaning you can use this credential without having to worry about individual estate licensing and continuing education requirements. EAs are federally licensed and can represent their clients in things like collections, audits, and appeals. You'll typically find EAs working in tax preparation firms, larger accounting agencies. They can also be self-employed and own their own tax preparation business. So to become an EA, you need to pass all three parts of the Special Enrollment Exam, or C exam, and pass an additional background check. Now, each section of the C exam focuses on three primary parts. The first focuses on individual taxation, the second section focuses on business taxation, and the third includes topics that cover representation of clients, practices, and procedures. With each exam item worth one point, the final score is calculated on a scale. This means your grade is determined by the calculation of the number of questions you've answered correctly, weighed against the total number of exam questions. A passing score for the exam is 105. If you do decide to take the exam, you'll need to study to ensure you pass. Most people recommend at least 50 hours of study time per section. That's a total of 150 hours of study time. We recommend you find a reputable exam review course to ensure you are covering all the material you need to. Incidentally, if you happen to have at least five years of experience working with the IRS in a position requiring the interpretation of tax code, you are eligible to pursue your EA.